Good day, math learners. I'm back. In this topic, we will discuss about the meshes of central tendency of grouped data. Meshes of central tendency of group data consists of the mean, the median, and the mode. And ungrouped data can be grouped. The group data are data which have been arranged in a frequency distribution table. The following are the meshes of central tendency. The mean, median, the mode. These are the symbol for the mean. For the median and for the mode. Please take note for those symbols. We will discuss first the mean of group data. The mean of group data can be computed using the formula. Mean is equal to summation of the frequency times x over n. Where this symbol is called the mean, f is for frequency of each class, x is the class mark of each class, and n the total number of data. Here are the steps that can be followed in solving for the mean frequency, mean frequency distribution table. First step. In our past discussion, we already discussed how to make a frequency distribution table. This will be the first step, remember? Yes. First step, you need to get the range. Range is the difference between the highest and the lowest values. Or it could be range is equal to largest quantity minus the smallest quantity. Second step. Determine the approximate number of classes using the storage formula, where k is equal to 1 plus 3.322 logarithm n or log n, where k is the approximate number of classes rounded off to the nearest whole number, and n is the total number of data values. Step 3. Determine the class interval or I. I is equal to the range over K, where I is the class interval. If, you're, if you already got the value of I, you need to run up the value of our class interval. Fourth step, construct the FDT or the frequency distribution table. Fifth step, add two columns to our frequency distribution table that will be the class mark and the frequency. <coughs> Next, the sixth step. Class mark or class mark X is equal to the lower limit plus the upper limit over 2. Seventh step, multiply the frequency and the class mark of each class interval. Eighth step, find the total number of data which is n by adding all the frequency. You need to add all the frequency and that will be the total number of data. Step 9, find the sum of fx. Step 10, compute for the mean using the formula which is mean is equal to the summation of fx over n. Please take note of this formula for the mean. Example number one. The table shows the scores of 55 students in Mathematics 7. We need to compute for the mean. If this will be our given data, first step, we need to get the range. In getting the range, that will be largest quantity minus smallest quantity. Then right now, we need to locate 
where can we found the largest quantity? The largest quantity, 18, and that is 48. And the smallest quantity, and that is 11. So 48 minus 11, and that is 37. Therefore, the value of our range is equal to 37. Step 2. Determine the approximate number of classes using the storage formula. K is equal to 1 plus 3.322 logarithm n, where n, if we, the total data is 55. That is the value of our n. So, 1 plus 3.322 log 55. Using your calculator, K is equal to 6.78. We need to run off 6.78. That will be 7. 7 is the value of our K, which is the number of classes. Step 3. We need to determine the class interval. Class interval is equal to the range over the K. R is equal to 37 and our K is 7. 37 divided by 7 is equal to 5.29. Remember I is run up. So we run up 5.29. It will turn to a whole number 6. That is the value of our class interval. Please take note the values of R, K, I. Then, fourth step, we need to construct the table for the data. So, if this will be our class interval, first step is write 11 as our smallest value. Remember, our class interval is 6. So, 11 plus 6, that's why 17. 17 plus 6, that's why 23. 23 plus 6, that's why 29. 29 plus 6, that's why 35. 35 plus 6, that's why 41. 41 plus 6, 47. How about here? 17, this 17 minus 1 is equal to 16. Then, 16 plus our interval, which is 6. 16 plus 6. 22, 22 plus 6, 28, 28 plus 6, 34, 34 plus 6, 40, 40 plus 6, 46, 46 plus 52, uh, 46 plus 6 is 52. Then we do the tally. We tally all the data, all the given data for this column. So 48 found here then so on you do the tally then you count the number of tally and that will be the frequency so the number of tally for this row is 1 5 5 10 15 5 10 12 5 10 12 5 7 then 3 Fifth step, that will be, we need to add two columns for the class mark and the product of the class mark and frequency. So, we will disregard the tally and we will only use the frequency. So, this will be the first column and the second column. So, the additional column, that will be the X, which is our class mark, and F of X, which will, that will be our frequency X. Step 6. Determine the class mark for each class interval. Class mark is equal to the lower limit plus the upper limit divided by 2. If this will be our class interval, so this will be the lower limit and the upper limit which is the right side. So, we add 47 plus 52, okay, 47 plus 52 divided by 2, 
and the result is 49.5. Same is here, 41 plus 46 divided by 2, the result is 43.5. 35 plus 40 divided by 2, the result is 37.5, and so on. Okay, next. Step 7. Multiply the frequency and the class mark of each class interval. f of x is equal to frequency times the x, which is the, which is the class mark. So, this will be our frequency and times the class mark, which is 49.5. So, 1 times 49.5 is 49.5. Same is here. 5 times 43.5. That will be 217.5. 15 times 37.5, that is 562.5. 12 times 31.5, that is 378. 12 times 25.5, that is 306. 7 times 19.5, that is 136.5. 3 times 13.5, that is 40.5. Step 8. Find the total number of data, which is n, by adding all the frequency, where n is the total frequency. Okay. If this will be our data, this will, this will be the frequency. Okay. We need to add all the frequency. So, 1 plus 5 plus 15 plus 12 plus 12 plus 7 plus 3. That will be n is equal to 55. Step 9. Find the sum of fx. So, that will be summation of fx. So, this will be the summation of fx. Okay. Then, you add all the values of fx. So, 49.5 plus 217.5 562.5, 378, 306, 136.5 plus 40.5. And the value of our f of x is this one. Okay, this will be the value of our f of x. Step 10. Now, this is the time to compute for the mean using the formula. This will be the given data as we computed already. Summation of f of x is 1690.5. The value of our n is equal to 55. So, mean formula is equal to summation of f of x divided by n. Then substitute all the values of f, summation of f of x and n. So, 1690.5 divided by 55. So, our mean is 30.7363636. So, we need to round off into two decimal places. The value of our mean is 30.74. Now, we'll discuss about the median of group data. So this will be the continuous topic for the mean. Then, next is the median. The median of group, group data can be computed using the formula. Median is the lower median class plus the quantity over n minus n over 2 minus the cumulative frequency over the frequency of the median close parenthesis multiplied by the class interval which is i this will be the symbol for the median this will be for the lower boundary of median class n is for the total number of data cf 
for cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class. Frequency FM is the frequency of our median class. I is our class interval. Please take note of those variables. Steps in solving the median of group data. So, we need to add two columns for the lower boundary, which is L, and less than cumulative frequency for the sec another column. So, we will use the frequency distribution of our mean. Then, we need to add two columns for the lower boundary and the, the less than cumulative frequency. Second step, determine the lower boundary for each class interval by getting the difference of the lower limit and a value of 0 0.5. So lower boundary is equal to lower limit minus 0 0.5. Step 3. Determine the less than cumulative frequency for each interval by adding the frequencies starting from the lowest class interval to the next interval. Step 4. Find the value of the interval, which is i, by subtracting and two consecutive lower limits or any two consecutive upper limits. Step 5. Solve for the n over 2 to find the value of our median class. Step 6. Compute for the median using the formula. Okay, let's start. Start with this will be uh, before we go on to our step one. This will be the formula of our median. Okay. Example number one. The table shows the frequency distribution of scores of 55 students in Mathematics 7. Compute for the mean. Okay. This will be our data a while ago. Uh, from the time we get the value of our mean. Same data. Okay. So, step 1, add two columns for the lower boundary and less than cumulative frequency. So, we add these two columns. Step 2, we need to determine the lower boundary for each class interval. In getting the lower boundary, that will be the lower limit minus 0 0.5. This will be the lower boundary column. And this will be our lower limit bound at the left side. 47, 41, 35, 29, 23, 17, 11. These are the lower limits. So 47 minus 0 0.5. Okay, this 47 minus 0 0.5. That will be... 46.5 same is here 41 minus 0 0.5 that is 40.5 35 minus 0 0.5 that is 34.5 29 minus 0 0.5 that is 28.5 23 minus 0 0.5 that is 22.5 17 minus 0 0.5 that is 16.5 11 minus 0 0.5 that is 10.5 step 3 we need to determine the less than cumulative frequency for each interval by adding the frequencies starting from the lowest class interval to the next interval so our lowest interval is our lowest class interval from the frequency is 3. So, you rewrite 3 here. Next step, you add 3 and 7. So, 3 plus 7, that will be 10. Next step, 7 Okay, next step, 10 plus 12, 
that is 22. 22 plus 12, that is 34. 34 plus 15, that is 49. 49 plus 5, that is 54. 54 plus 1, and that will be 55. So it means that 55 is our total number of frequency. So we get the same amount. Step 4. Find the value of the interval, which is I, by subtracting any two consecutive lower limits or any two consecutive upper limits. Okay, if this will be our two consecutive lower limits, so 17 minus 11, that will be 6. Or you can also use 47 minus 41, still I is equal to 6. And that will be our class interval. Or I mean the interval, which is I. Step 5. Solve for n over 2 and find for the median class. First thing we need to do is we need to locate our median class by using this formula n over 2. n is 55. This is here the total frequency over 2. 55 over 2 is 27.5. Where can we locate our median class with the use of n over 2 which is 27.5? So, you will use the cumulative frequency so which of them is more than 27.5 in the cumulative frequency so 22 between 22 and 34 so we will use 34 instead so it because it is greater than 27.5 so this will be the location of our median class. So, lo locate the class that contains the 27.5 item in the column since 27.5 is greater than 22 but less than 34, then the median class in the class interval is 29. To 34 that will be the location of our median class we will use, we will use that location okay. to compute for the mean uh, for the median using the formula okay the location of our median is here okay the value of our the lower boundary of median class this will be the lower boundary of our median class that will be 28.5 lower boundary now for the cumulative frequency it must be next to the median class I mean before it before the median class so before the median class of the cumulative frequency that will be 22 frequency of the median class that will be 12 the interval which is 6 and n over 2 is 27.5 now we can get the value of our median which is the formula lower median class plus n over 2 quantity n over 2 minus the cumulative frequency before the median of the cumulative frequency over the frequency of the median class times the interval then substitute all the values that will be then using your calculator or you can use a calculator to solve this one the value of our median is 31.25 use two decimal places in getting the mean median 
and the mode. Please take note for the one. Take note for that one. Okay, let's go on to the mode of group data. Example number one, the table shows the frequency distribution of scores of 55 students in Mathematics 7 compute for the mode. Okay, this will be our data from our past data. So we will use it again to get our mode of our group data. So step one, identify the modal class, which is the class interval with the highest frequency. To locate the location of our modal class, we need to use the highest frequency. Okay, from the highest frequency, this will be the column for our highest frequency. Add the column, the column of our frequency. The highest frequency is 15. Okay, so if that will be our the highest frequency then that will be the location of our modal class so 35 to 40 is the location of our modal class step 3 find the value of d1 to find the value of d1 it is the difference between the frequency of the modal class and the frequency of the class below it. Okay, this will be this will be the location of our modal class. The frequency of our modal class is 15 and the bill and below of our model class that will be 12. So 15 minus 12 that will be 3. That will be the value of our D1. Step 4. We need to find the value of D sub 2. Okay, this will be D sub 2, not D sub 1. D sub 2 is a difference between the frequency of the model class and the frequency of the class above the frequency of our model class. This will be the location of our model class and the frequency of our model class above the frequency of our model class that is 5 then 15 minus 5 and that will be equal to 10 d sub 2 is equal to 10 then it's time to compute for the mode using the formula the given data and the model class or the location of our model class our lower boundary of our model class and that will be 35.5 and d sub 1 is 3 as what we computed a while ago and d sub 2 is equal to 10 interval is equal to 6 and over 2 is 27.5 where do we get 27.5 55 divided by 2 and that will be equal to 27.5 how about the interval? Let's have a review. Uh, 17 minus 11, that will be equal to 6. <laughs> then substitute all the values to the formula. The formula in getting the modal and the mode of our data is lower boundary of our modal class plus the quantity of d sub 1 over d sub 1 plus d sub 2 times the interval. Lower model class is 34.5 plus 3 over 3 plus 10 times 6. You may use a calculator in solving this problem. Using your calculator, we can get mode is equal to 35.88. This will be the value of our mode. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to answer the given formative assessment. If you have questions, just chat me personally in my Facebook account.